Hey guys, in this video today we're going to look at how you can take advantage of the configuration maps that are available within Kubernetes, specifically on EKS, but this is also true for all versions of Kubernetes, um, with BWCE. So essentially you can use config maps to um, store your different either credentials or different um, configurations and such um, that can be accessed by your business version container edition application. So to start, we, we need to build a BWC app. I'm just going to start with something very simple, um, something that you can build probably in five minutes or so, just to get the idea of what we're doing. But essentially, it's just a REST service, a, a get call, where we're just going to output this um, module property called name. And so if we look at what this module property actually is, um, under properties, you'll see that the default value is my name, Chris, and that I have another profile under EKS with the um, parameter name. So essentially what this means is that when we deploy it originally with the default profile value, we'll only get this output. But if we decide to use the profile value EKS, then we should get the, whatever we've defined name to be in our properties file um, as the output. So um, if I was just to debug this, I would see this because I have no properties file right now. But once we deploy it onto EKS, we'll actually see that we'll, we'll define what the properties actually is. And now where the config maps comes into play. So I already have already um, exported this here file, I've already created the image, already pushed it up and such, so I'm just going to walk through exactly um, what you would need in order to do this. Um, so you have your year file, you will have a .key value, um, essentially if I open this up, pwce.key, um, essentially it's just what my name value is going to be and I'll see, and you'll see how this is actually used within the manifest file. But when we actually deploy this application, instead of seeing Chris, we should just see Chris config as the name value. And so from a manifest point of view, you can see um, it's just like a standard Kubernetes manifest, but if you go down, um, there's a couple things within the container spec that you should just keep in mind. Um, the environment, uh, one of the variables you need to put is BW profile and the value of your profile. So if you see here, EKS, if this was named something else, then you would put something else, but because it's EKS, we type the profile as EKS. Um, if it was Docker, you type the value as Docker. It just depends on what you put. Um, so it's, that's essentially saying that when you deploy this container, you use this profile. So if you do use that profile, then you need a value for this name because there's nothing there, it's just a variable. So how you do that is that you can set um, basically another variable that's um, called name, and you get the value from a config map reference. And so if you notice here, our config map reference, I have it, and it's called PWC config, and then there's a key value for PWC sample.key. And like I showed earlier, when we actually checked out what this value is, it's Chris config. So if you're just looking through this, what's going to say is that for the environment variable name, which is what we need to populate here, take the value that's stored within this key value, within this specific file, within this key value. So if we exit here. So then you would actually de deploy the application with your manifest file, and um, it should be able to work. Before you do that, you need to actually um, I guess store, or need to actually uh, set the, the config map within your Kubernetes platform. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can either choose to do that um, via, like, let's say, the CLI or such, or you can choose to do that or uh, edit if you have existing ones and such. But if you notice here, um, it already shows me my data. So the actual this config map for BWC config is um, past this data point for the key, and then within that key, the values that are shared there. And so um, you do something like um, create config map, so BWC config three, and then you say from file, and then the name of the file, BWC sample dot key. Um, and then once you actually do that, then, oh, it should be kubectl. Um, but once you do that, then this will actually take um, from the file that you selected, so in this case, the key file, and it will actually um, create that config map within your Kubernetes platform. If you notice here, if I go back, I have my config file. Um, that's now available for me to use. So um, once you've actually have that there, then you can actually deploy with manifest. So um, if you don't actually have the config file set and stored within your Kubernetes platform, then when you actually try to deploy it, um, referencing it, it's not going to work because it will say, okay, what are you talking about? So you need to make sure you do this first before you deploy it. Um, after you deploy, it's just like a standard Kubernetes deployment. If it's deployed, um, you, if it's an external endpoint, which in this case it is, you'll get it right here with your services. 
um, for the sample app, it's just Aspire UI name. And so if I try it out, I should say Chris config. So essentially, um, nowhere in the application I I've said anything about this value called Chris config. I just are, I'm just referencing a token, or I'm referencing some sort of variable that I've set within the the design time, and then essentially I'm setting the value of that with a properties file with a key file that's in config maps. And this is true for any type of Kubernetes platform, so not just EKS, but um, AKS or um, if you want Google's Kubernetes platforms or PKS or something like that. Um, all the different ones you can use config maps and such. So um, it's very helpful. It's a great way when you're actually building out applications um, where you, if you need to change variables at times, it's better than just hard coding. Um, just use variables and then you can just change the config map and it's a lot easier than going back into studio. So um, hopefully this is helpful. Um, thank you.